check out my Wiccan project. It's a 3D printed water. <laughs> Hey guys, look what just arrived. Something from, not from China. It looks like a package from China, right? But it's not. Let me show you. It came from Malta. <laughs> Is that cool? I know exactly what's in here, unlike uh, when I ordered from China. Because uh, this is actually something I bought from a fellow YouTuber. Check this out. I gotta make sure that I won't cut it because it is very, very thin and very, very delicate. This is a Flex AR by Carl Buheja. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. He's a very creative maker. So Carl designed this uh, to be flexible. So there's a coil right here. And then that's a power coming in here and basically if you could I, I don't know if you could see it but there's an actual coil that he puts in the pcb there in this flexible pcb so one goes here coil 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 and comes out on the other side and that's really cool and i wish i could uh, use that for something but my idea doesn't work for that because all all you have is this basically this little waving back and forth that you know he has put leds and stuff in there but i don't have that circuit in here of course and so what I want to do is actually turn this into a motor so I could uh, spin something. But, you know, if I want this to be a motor, then the battery has to be connected to this. And I, I can't think of a way to turn this very, very uh, weak magnet in here into a motor. So my first idea was to use a new diminum magnet, whatever this thing is. Like. That's really, really strong. And I was going to use this with the Flex AR. But unfortunately, this movement here actually is not going to propel it. It's going to either attract it towards it or move it away from it. So it doesn't actually rotate. It's simply, you know, try to uh, move it away from it or get close to it. It doesn't actually want to make it rotate. So my second idea is to somehow put this into a very, very rigid place. And I was going to put it like at this angle here. And so the magnet also has to be that angle. And before I spend the time to do that, I figure I better do an experiment. So this is my experiment here. So I soldered the connector here, power it just using this switch so I could turn it on and off. And this whole thing is just powered by my bench power supply at 3 volts. And so that way I could turn, turn this on and off by just pressing that switch. And then on the other end, I have this little hanging plexiglass. So this will be my kind of like my little swing. And this eventually will be replaced by the, the rotating thing. So the, you know, the, the axle is going to go like here and it will rotate this way. So this will be just one of the magnet that's going to be in this rotor. This swings really easily because I have this really, really high tech hinge that I made out of blue tape. <laughs> so let me show you how this works. Okay, let's stop this from swinging. It actually swings very easily. So it actually it's pretty hard to make it stop. Okay, so it's not moving anywhere. And I'm just going to put this really close to each, to each other, but not actually touching, of course. And I'm going to press the power button, and you'll see that it actually repels it. Very, very slightly, but that's all we need. It's like, we, if I time this just right, which I'm hoping now I will eventually use the Arduino, you could really see it swing there. And, you know, like, and then even if after I'm not powering at all, there's still quite a bit of momentum going there. And so what I'm hoping is like by putting maybe two or three of these magnets, I just have to put enough movement so it spins a little bit. And then the next time, by the time it kind of like die down, the next magnet will be in front of this and I'll turn this back on again and then push it some more and push it some more. And just if I time it just right, it sh I should be able to, to create a rotation. So that's what I hope. I'm probably not using this as Carl intended it because I'm not using the flexible nature of this magnet at all. But I'm having fun. <laughs> so I modeled this in Fusion 360 and slice it using Cura. And here it is. Oh, it's pretty loose. I put too much clearance in there. I put uh, 0.02 on each side. I wonder if I just need 0 .2, 0.02 for both sides. I probably will print another one because it only takes like 20 minutes rather than hot glue this and. Uh, risk my magnet getting weaker from the heat of the hot glue well this camera thing is working great and it's like i could just put the camera in there and yeah 
Normally this would take uh, quite a bit more to... Oh, the hole didn't come through at all, did it? Ugh, what a mess down there. <laughs> well, I got a night chance, I guess. Okay. It's a wonderful thing about Fusion, of course, is you can just simply change these things. Okay, this clearance. I'm just going to cut it in half clearance. Yeah, I made the expansion two times the clearance. So now the clearance is half the size and everything should be half the size. Create another STL. I'll keep the same file name so I don't have to do anything. And just go back to Cura. And all we have to just reload it. I think it was an F5, yeah. Not much difference. It was just 0.2 in there. You can't even tell the difference, but I'm sure there's a difference. Reslice it. Save it back. Same file. Override it. Unfortunately, this is saved onto my machine, and I have to actually upload it to the Raspberry Pi, which is running my 3D printer. So, re-upload that same file. And we'll reprint it. Okay. The one's ready. Let's see how well this works. Oh yeah, much tighter. Looking good. I put a resistor uh, as an axle in there. It seems to work pretty good. Okay, so I made a base to hold the axle there. That's probably too high a bit. So it spins just as well as before, I think. If I press it, there. Oops, that's going the wrong way. Oh, maybe I have the magnet going the wrong way. So if I use a permanent magnet here, I think I have the magnetic orientation correctly because this one is att attracting here. You can see it's really wants to get there. If I go to the next one, eventually it will attract that one. See? And if I go further down, it will attract that one. So they all, all the, <laughs> sorry, it's a pretty strong magnet. So all of them are oriented correctly. And if I have it the opposite way, it will repel. And so it will try to get there. Yeah, the, the repel doesn't work as well as the uh, attraction. So oh, maybe that's the thing. I need to attract it rather than try to repel it. I wonder if I have more than one angle magnets here. You know, and like put it in sequence. So you know, turn this one on first. So it moves that closer like that, and then turn the next one on right next to it here. So it goes move that way and put another one over here, go this way. And if I put that in sequence with an Arduino, you know, boom, 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 boom. Then I wonder if it actually will move it much more reliably rather than relying on it, catching it on the next, you know, cycle, pushing it and then trying to catch this one. So I'm gonna make a frame for these coils. Let's make that on Fusion. Morning. Let's see our print. It's always exciting to see the print. Oh, looks pretty good. I hope that holds you up. Oh yeah. yeah. Tiny slit. Well, I hope this fits in that tiny little hole. Because <laughs> otherwise I would have to reprint it. Oh yeah, look at that. So close. Yeah, it needs to be just a tad bit wider. Yeah, I could wait. Oh, there it goes. I was able to push it. There you go. Sure, guys, her tire sick and terribly saying this, but 3D printing is amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's like, look how well that works. This is first time. This is first print. Um, sometimes you get lucky, I guess. So I soldered the other Flex ARs. I temporarily put blue tape here. Eventually, if this works out, I'll print one, one piece so they're together, or maybe I super glue them or something. So you could see how close it gets there. That's pretty amazing. 